Hi, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat. There's a lot of things going on in the SDN NFV world that all these terms is driving everybody crazy, but there's a lot of excitement here. Joining me today is Sunil from Newwatch, who's the CEO and president. Thanks for joining the Hot Seat. Absolutely. I appreciate it. I think this is your first hot seat, right? Yes, indeed. Good. Well, welcome there. Thank you. Uh, he's agreed to sit down and just help clarify some of the things for us, but more importantly, some of the things going on specifically to his company. Why don't you quickly, as we do in the hot seat, as yeah. we get right to the point, the customers don't have time for the fluff, right? Of course. So tell me a little bit about what NewWatch is in a, in a summary point of view. Absolutely. Um, so NewWatch Networks uh, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Pocket and Lucent. Um, and at Nuage, what we have built is a rather modern and comprehensive um, software-based solution that provides massive automation on any existing network infrastructure. What this does is allows for our customers to very quickly stand up private or public cloud infrastructures mm -hmm. that are more programmable, more responsive, and more agile than AWS. Okay. Um, and the way we do that, Ray, is by going in and providing uh, automation solution that really brings IT and IT mm -hmm. together. Uh, and we do that by drawing on our very rich networking experience mm -hmm. to give this capability that is boundaryless mm -hmm. uh, and provides automation for any workloads, whether it is virtual or bare metal. Right. It is able to provide seamless connectivity to the wide area, right. to the VPNs, mm -hmm. which is where the customers are. Right. And it allows um, for any environment to be automated, as in any hypervisor environment. So it's completely independent of hypervisor environment, uh, network infrastructure that might be in place mm -hmm. already, right. uh, as well as any orchestration platform. Right. Now, you mentioned different types. What is your customer target for this? Great question. So, what we are seeing right now mm -hmm. uh, is the large tech enterprises mm -hmm. are extremely interested in getting a solution like this to make their networks mm -hmm. like AWS. Okay, I see. And this is what the CIOs are telling me right. because the lines of businesses are going around them right. and going to the public clouds mm -hmm. and that sense shivers down their spine and right. what they want to provide for their existing customers and right. internal customers right. is an agile infrastructure okay. where they're able to deploy applications very rapidly onto the cloud. Right, right. And, and so it's large tech enterprises mm -hmm. as well as pure play cloud service providers. Perfect. Now there's a, a lot of uh, things going on regarding just regular controllers, overlay. How would you say you differentiate in that piece? Right. So. You're absolutely right. There's a lot of hype and noise in the industry um, mm -hmm. with regards to SDN. Certainly, mm -hmm. what we are doing is we are leveraging on our experience of having built very large multi-tenanted VPN networks. Okay. And, and then taking and drawing on that experience to make the data center infrastructure, right. which are existing infrastructures, mm -hmm. able to provide the same level of sophisticated overlay technology mm -hmm. uh, and we do that by using the same rich routing control plane okay, so that is used in the our uh, 7750 Alcatel Lucent routers. Right, okay. Well, why don't we go to a whiteboard and uh, you show me how this works a little bit. Absolutely, you know yeah. No, okay. let, me, let me show you on the whiteboard. All right, let's shift to it. Yeah. So, let me tell you, Ray, as we were talking, with regards to the whole discussion in the industry about the overlay and underlay. Look, if you look at what we have done for the last decade in the wide area, we've had the wide area underlay, and on this underlay, using an IPMPLS substrate, what we have done is we have created VPNs, uh, IPVPNs, VPLS, VLLs. And we've been offering these services to enterprises. Service providers have been offering these services to let, um, enterprises for over a decade. And they're secure, they provide consistent SLAs, no enterprise customers question the capability and, and the way these are delivered. And now you look at what's going on in the data center network. So if you were to look at 
the data center infrastructure, that has largely remained static. Um, the whole idea is to create similar overlays like the VPNs, and that's where you have the overlay technology. And the way we create this overlay technology is leveraging the same exact principles that we have used for over a decade, and we draw on our experience of having built and now having a very strong incumbency uh, with Alcatel Lucent service routing to provide those overlay networks. And the way we do that is by... Now, what, what are those other uh, devices up there to the um, overlays yeah. there? Mm -hmm. um, indeed. So the overlay is basically where the virtual machines. Mm -hmm. So imagine every server that is virtualized would have a hypervisor. And the hypervisor have VMs, virtual machines, attached to it. Now, as we know, in every single data center, there's always a mix uh, of the workloads. There are virtualized workloads and then there are non-virtualized workloads. That's where you need a gateway, where the gateway connects the bare metal servers to that overlay. And the technology that we use to talk and create these overlays is the VXLAN technology. So these are the VXLAN tunnels that are largely providing this overlay. Now, what we have as part of Nuage is our SDN controller called Virtualized Services Control, and this is the SDN controller that uses OpenFlow to program the hypervisors and with the forwarding entries. It is the one that uses the same exact routing protocol that is being used in the routers. And that's really a big differentiator for us. Because by doing that, we are able to do provide federation and scale out for connecting multiple data centers together. Additionally, because it's running the routing protocol, it is able to peer with the underlay in both places the wide area as well as in the data center and have a complete view of the topology and the multipathing. And by having that, if there is a failure in the underlay, whether it is in the data center or in the wide area, we can immediately correlate that to exactly which overlay failed mm -hmm. or is affected as a result of the failure in the underlay. And having this type of correlation really gives us a big advantage. Now, uh, this seems that that underlay is something your NYSERA and others don't have. Is that correct? Um, what NYSERA, uh, uh, for example, does not have is a controller that uses this rich routing protocol. Mm -hmm. And as a result, the overlays that they create are ships in the night because they are not able to correlate the underlay capability and the visibility that we have with the overlays that they create. Okay, great. All right, thanks. So, bottom line, what we are doing with this capability is we are able to provide overlay technology and connect workloads, whether they are virtual workloads or bare metal workloads, together automatically as soon as they come up. We're able to extend the overlay right into the VPNs seamlessly and we are able to do that independent of the hypervisor technology. Right. Now, just two quick questions there. Uh, do you need to have open flow in all your network devices? And, and how disruptive is this to, to implement this? Great question. So, by using the technology that we have used, clearly, the way we have designed our solution, it is completely independent of existing network infrastructure. We will go in and with a software-based solution, allow any data center infrastructure to be fully automated. We recognize that we will walk into most environments that are brownfield. There's a lot of existing investment that customers have done in building those data centers. So it requires minimal disruption in that regard. Okay, great. All right, thank you. Well, let's go back and sit down and, and talk further here. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, that was a good uh, whiteboard there. I appreciate it there. Now, sure. what we always do in the hot seat a little bit is, um, is this product shipping, you know, and anything that you want to close with? Sure. Um, so what I'd like to say is that 
it's the only product that has been shipping since May. So you have real customers? We absolutely have real customers. We just announced a couple of weeks ago three customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, one uh, cloud service provider mm -hmm. um, and two enterprise customers. Right, excellent. Yes, and we have completed over a dozen trials. Right. Yeah, no, we are uh, very, really excited. Uh, we have great momentum and we are solving some real problems for the CIOs. They care about speed and security right. as they move into the cloud infrastructures, right. uh, but they don't want to lose control and visibility. That's right. And that's exactly what our solution provides. We bring IT and IP together mm -hmm. to deliver business agility mm -hmm. driven by operational simplicity. Great. Well, you're officially off the hot seat. Thank you. Hopefully it wasn't too sweaty for you. I appreciate no, thank you. Thank you. This is Ray Motor with Sunil. Thank you for joining this other edition of the hot seat.